Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to introduce you to our Redis clustering test. It's very simple, this one. I've shown a video of, of a little more full-blown. I'm not really interested in doing that level, but as usual, coming here to uh, Redis, sorry, Digital Ocean. Uh, got some great tutorials, start from the beginning. Um, basically what I've done is I've put everything as local host instead of two separate uh, two separate um, Redis server installations. So I'm just running separate instances of Redis. So what you do is you just come in, follow these instructions. I'll put the link in here. You install it, update it, um, confirm that your Redis is running. Uh, there's a, a line here called, uh, actually this, this benchmark will just confirm all the processing horsepower of your instance of, of uh, Redis. Uh, you do some um, uh, configuration changes on the CONF file, so follow those. Uh, you got to set up um, master slave um, and turn it on and activate it and assign addresses. Um, in my case, I didn't assign a password. Um, like I said, this is just a local test. In terms of IPs I used, I just used localhost. Um, so anywhere in the configuration is asking for your IP, uh, I just put in, like I said, localhost right here. That would be localhost. The port stays the same. And uh, this is where you just configure your slave configuration for the Redis. So let me just uh, walk you through the testing. Uh, which starts right here. You configure uh, your Redis slave. So you do all this stuff. If you want a password, you can do that as well. But uh, like I said, I didn't inclu uh, include that. So what we're going to do now is going to verify the master slave replication. Um, now, just so everybody knows, I've been using um, Ubuntu, uh, sorry, VMware Workstation with an Ubuntu current version of 14.04 .04 running. So I have here um, basically uh, basically uh, two two ins instances of Redis client running right here. Um, so like I said, I I'm using localhost as my port as my IP, and then it has a separate port. No password needed. Um, so let me let me let me just run this again. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the connections. Uh, let me just do a quit. Yep. So we, we are no longer in Redis. So let me just uh, do the first instance uh, just to show you that it seems to work. Okay, so th th this should still kind of work because this IP that I'm going to use is the same as localhost. Yeah, so we're, so we're now connected. So typically here, if I'd ask for a password, I'd ask for an authorization on your password. So we're going to skip that step and I'm just going to go to info. So here, um, what we're looking for is under replication. So here, um, we have localhost, which is a slave, and here's our IP. So we know that that's connected and working. Um, it's supposed to be somewhere in here, connected slaves, but I think it's going to actually be more than that. Um, let's see, where's my replication? So. Yeah, I think it's in the other uh, instance. So let me just keep going through the instructions here. Um, okay, so we know, as I said, that we are connected and as a slave, uh, local host with that port. So that's all good. So now we are going to go into the other terminal and uh, see what we come up with. So I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, 
Oops. Okay, now I'm going to do, um, there's a command in here where we're going to switch the slave off. So I'm going to say uh, slave of no one. Let's see what happens here. So we're connected now. So I'm going to say slave of no one. Okay, so we got that. So if we go under info, um, replication, we're now a master connected slaves zero. Okay, so uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to reconnect to the master. Actually, uh, this rule is considered master, so I got it backwards. So this is the master. So let me. Um, so we're going to reconnect to the master from the slave. So that's through here. Um, so we got to go slave of slave of local host local host and then six three seven nine. Okay, so if I come under here, I'm hoping it says connected slaves. So now if I go back into do an info, let's see what it has here. So if we go under replication, so we have a slave local host. So it, it somewhat works, but it seems to be uh, needing two physical boxes. But um, it seems to work okay. Um, basically, <laughs> not the best way, not the smartest way, um, but uh, it seems to work okay with this tutorial is showing you. So that's how to do it to build replication in uh, Redis. Now, of course, we can span this out, have as many of these slaves and masters as we want. Now, I'll be doing further testing for this, but I just want to show you how to kind of do the the basics of it. Hopefully, this will kind of help you out.